Hello, our regular weekly updates, uh, September the 6th, and uh, there are some exciting news every week. So, uh, this week, uh, Ilya Zatskever raised $1 billion. This is kind of amazing uh, situation, right? So, if you follow this Reddit discussion about Ilya, imagine being so notoriously hyper-competent at something in a hype cycle that you can create a unicorn, which means billion dollar company, just by saying, guys, I have an idea with no product or anything. So Ilya was uh, one of the originals uh, founders of OpenAI. Uh, then he left the company in May. In June, he co-founded the new company, which is called SSI, Safe Super Intelligence. And uh, right now they have about 10 people. There are three founders, including Ilya. And uh, he just raised billion dollars at about 5 billion valuations. And uh, funding was uh, led by investment from Sequoia and Anderson Horowitz, which is uh, very famous companies. And yeah, they have no product. They have only 10 people, but now they have billion dollars. So they will hire people and uh, I guess rent technology and we'll start building this new product. Very, very interesting and exciting. Uh, next, Reflection Llama 3.170B. Uh, I received this information from multiple sources and this is really exciting because what a couple of guys, I mean, the main is probably Matt Schumer, this is his picture. Uh, they took a Llama 3.170B and then fine tune it in a certain way, like uh, training it how to answer questions in a step-by-step -step manner and uh, self-reflect on the answer to double check that the answer is correct. Uh, you can achieve the same goal with uh, prompt engineering. You can achieve the same goal by maybe putting pipeline of multiple calls or using agents or whatever. They did it with fine tuning and look at the result. So here you have reflection 70B column, uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, uh, you have uh, Claude 3 Opus, GPT 4.0, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Llama 3.145B. So we have all the biggest and most powerful uh, expensive models. And look at this uh, reflection model. It beats almost all of them. <laughs> in all like multiple tests. It's absolutely amazing what you can achieve. Uh, if you don't use the model as is, as a stochastic parrot, but you put uh, it as part of some step-by-step -step pipeline, the results are much, much better. Okay. AI scientist, uh, Sakana.ai, AI scientist, toward full automated open-ended scientific discovery. So what this thing does, it actually does discoveries and writes scientific papers, <laughs> like it generates them. It's, it's a very interesting thing. So here's the link. Uh, can agent be a chief AI scientist? Again, there's like a meta agent. Uh, and uh, again, very interesting approach. Well, who knows? So AI agents now can do science. Uh, next, uh, really interesting video by Derek Miller. He is creator of Veritasium channel on uh, YouTube. I'm a subscriber, I like it very much. So this video about uh, voting systems and if uh, it's even possible to select the best man. Uh, well, if you have only two candidates and one gets more votes than the second one, then of course no problem. But if you have more than two, let's say three, so you have A has more votes than B and B has more votes than C. And then C realizing that it's not enough vote for him to win. He just gives his votes to B and suddenly B plus C is greater than A. So B will win, although B is not the strongest candidate, right? So this is why this uh, past the, uh, post voting is, is not perfect. So people have come up came up with other systems, like for example, preferential voting, where you may have ballots where you have uh, multiple candidates and you rank them like one, two, three, uh, whatever. Uh, some of these systems allow you to assign the same weight to more than one candidate. 
uh, again, this system may have uh, some sort of locking, like for example, A may be less than B plus C, B less than C plus A, and C less than A plus B. So <laughs> you, you get stuck uh, without making a decision. So this is an interesting uh, scientific area. And over the centuries, people tried different uh, approaches. So I provide some Wikipedia links. And uh, the very famous person, uh, Kenneth Arrow, uh, who was here in USA, uh, uh, first New York City, Palo Alto, then Palo Alto, California. And he wrote a book and uh, it's called Social Choice and Individual Values. And he received a Nobel Prize for proving what's called impossibility theory. So, and this is the quote from the book. So he basically saying that uh, completely like just uh, voting is not possible unless it's imposed or di dictatorial. <laughs> so this, this is a Nobel Prize and the, the book is 1951. Okay, uh, but uh, preferential voting is better than uh, just regular voting. Also different uh, uh, types of voting create different atmosphere. Like, for example, in uh, regular voting, uh, what you see is that candidates, uh, well, fight with each other. It's pretty dirty, right? Uh, but in other systems of voting, the uh, candidates actually support each other and become closest friends. And uh, yeah, so it, it's very interesting. Um, Google Gemini, avoid answering voting questions right now. So if you go on Gemini and you ask any kind of question, which is about voting, it will refuse to answer. So this is today. I asked, what is preferential voting? And preferential voting is here. It's like a Wikipedia page. It's a standard term, nothing. And still, it just refuses to answer the question. And this is because we have election in November. So Google fights election-related misinformation, uh, introduced uh, different kind of restrictions on in all their systems. Uh, okay, to help find and oh, th th this is from my friend David. So th this is interesting. So what he did, uh, let me maybe open this post, so so you, you you will see what what's. So he was trying to find an old cartoon, and Gemini Advanced couldn't find it on the first try. So he asked the Gemini, "Come on, try again. You can do it." <laughs> the result was complete gibberish. So in his words, in this post, uh, saying that, well, it returned complete gibberish, thus revealing its true nature as a stochastic parrot. And uh, what do you do with stochastic parrot? Well, you make model self-reflective so that after response, it verifies if the response is actually correct. And that's what the reflection model, which I spoke before, does. Anyway, uh, some other news. AI drones against wildfires. Uh, again, very interesting. So you have a swarm of uh, drones and they can detect, investigate, coordinate. Uh, they not so much pour water because they're small. They just uh, do reconnaissance. Uh, model pricing goes down. So this is very interesting article from Deep Learning uh, The Batch newsletter, which I recommend to subscribe. And this is uh, blended price in uh, uh, tokens uh, in and out four to one and you see how it drops in just a few months from March to August this year so this is a tremendous uh, drop the black one is GPT-4 and the blue ones is Llama 3.1 uh, plus uh, we have hardware innovations so Grok, Samba Nova, Cerebras, NVIDIA, AMD and so on will drive the prices uh, down so this is a continuous uh, process. Okay, and this is just in a few months. This is amazing. Okay, um, Google, a new feature, Ask Photos. It's AI powered search and Google Photos using Gemini AI. And before they were able to find particular people or animals, but now you can ask uh, quite uh, complicated, sophisticated questions. Uh, whoever joined, please mute yourself. Okay, uh, build pipelines, workflows, instead of uh, agentic workflows. Well, I completely agree with the author of this video. So this is uh, agentic framework flow. So you have input, output, you have the managing agent, which manages a bunch of agents. 
And instead, you use uh, something like a data pipeline flow, where, again, you have input and output, and you have step-by-step -step pipeline. In this case, you have much more control over each step. You know what you're doing. Uh, and uh, I found that agenting framework is very difficult uh, to, to work with uh, because you have less control. And you have uh, very high quality agents uh, because they have to make decisions. OK, why not to use LangChain, LangGraph, and LangSmith? Well, we tried to use them uh, and only found that it's difficult and expensive. Uh, so uh, the benefit which, the, so LangChain started about two years ago, well, in November, when um, ChatGPT was released as an open source project on GitHub. And it's a great, great project. And they have so many tools and uh, a lot of following. But then they, uh, hello, can you hear me? Guys, yes, yes, yes. okay. Uh, so um, it was good, but then they created a startup and they concentrated on, on building uh, tools which they can sell to make profit. And they created LangGraph and LangSmith. And with LangSmith, uh, you're paying $40 a month uh, per, per, well, $39.99 or whatever, uh, per month per person. Uh, everything is on the cloud. So you need to count, you pay for each trace uh, trace meaning execution of your ag agentic diagram. So it's like one run. Uh, it becomes much more complex because they build everything on containers with Kubernetes. So you have to put it on some sort of uh, elastic cloud and it costs money. Uh, well, they provide local UI for LangGraph Studio, but you cannot really, you can only see the diagram, but you cannot change the diagram. You need uh, the LangSmith to do that. And uh, the studio only works on Mac OS. And of course, uh, you know, you look at their documentation, you try to reproduce the examples and they don't work. And, and, and this was the main reason why I decided not to use LangChain at all, uh, because this is like a wrappers around wrappers around wrappers. So I understand their motivation. They're building a product to charge money. But if you want to do something for yourself uh, you can just take the libraries they use the python libraries javascript libraries and just uh, use them directly without all these wrappers and without uh, paying the price uh, what else here oh google deepmind um, alpha proto so this is a tool which uh, creates uh, uh, the uh, proteins which can uh, bind uh, with uh, particular targets. So this can be used uh, to treat um, viruses, uh, viral diseases, finding cancer, uh, even COVID. So they already created uh, some proteins which could stop uh, COVID from infecting cells. So it's uh, very promising. And th thank you, Google DeepMind. Um, OpenAI aims to raise several billion dollars. They are still in negotiations. Uh, well, the speculations are that uh, the value of the company grew from 86 billion in the end of last year to more than 100 billion now. And uh, they are planning, as you know, as they announced, uh, to release the GPT Next, uh, Strawberry, Orion, uh, Strawberry should come soon, Orion, beginning of next year. And the, the speculations are also that they will charge $2,000 per month subscription fee for the models, which will be much more reliable. So they're fighting hallucinations. Uh, they want model which can reason and which can be safe, like servicing, for example, military or government or something. Um, Claude for Enterprise uh, with 500,000 context length. Uh, this is uh, tokens, of course. Uh, and it has some other enterprise features, more usage capacity, native GitHub integration, enterprise grade security, sing single sign on, uh, role based uh, permissions, uh, administration, and, and so on. Okay, next uh, Anthropic prompt generated to create good prompts. Uh, so we all uh, start with writing our own prompts and becoming better. And there are many collections and tutorials. But what you can do now, you can simply go, to, uh, go on Anthropic Prompt Generator and 
describe to Anthropic Generator what you're trying to do, answer all the questions, and Anthropic will generate a prompt for you, which probably will be better than you can create yourself. RAG best practices. Uh, well, thank you, Sander, for that. And uh, uh, this is uh, on YouTube series of videos. They just came up with the first one, but they will cover uh, how to build a RAG in detail. So the first video uh, only covers chunking. And then they will talk about embedding and all, all these pieces. I highly recommend uh, this link. Oh, this is interesting. This is a course which teaches how to become AI consultant and uh, earn a quarter million a year, first year as AI consultant. Well, you cannot even get in because they already closed the doors because they already got all the students. <laughs> Uh, Alama supports multiple AMD GPUs. Well, this started in spring and uh, it was in testing, but it's, it's working quite fine. Uh, my son is using it and uh, they support multiple GPUs. So if you have several AMD GPUs like uh, 7900 XTXs, uh, yeah, you, you, you can use them with Alama. Uh, Time has published a list of 100 people uh, in AI. So this is how it looks. Uh, the list. So these are the lenders, starting with uh, Google, Microsoft, and, and so on. You have Sam Altman and NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, and, and so on. And then uh, they go into innovators. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a nice list. Uh, here I put in each of the sections, leaders, innovators, thinkers, and shapers. Uh, I just put the first 10. And you see uh, all the names are very, very recognizable. Uh, I, I like uh, to read or listen to the thinkers like Ray Kurzweil, Ilya Sutskever, of course, Andrei Karpathy, and, and so on. Uh, next, uh, we have our CrowdSource Arena leaderboard. And uh, well, it's about the same chat GPT uh, for all holds its place. Uh, notice that, that this is the latest model released in August. This is uh, Grok from uh, Twitter. Uh, Gemini, GPT, Metal Llama 405, which is a huge model for 05B. This is 70B model. And this is Athena is again, it's fine tuned uh, Metal Llama uh, 70B. So this is uh, the top, this is for English queries only. And then uh, after that, we have Llama 370B, Jamba. Remember, Jamba is, is not transformer-based. It's Mamba-based architecture. And uh, they're doing pretty good. Uh, DeepSeek, Gemma from Google. The green ones are open source. So I, I'm going through open source. Uh, Gemma, DeepSeek again, Gemma, Nematron from NVIDIA. Well, it's pretty big. It's 340 billion parameters. And Jamba 1.5 Mini. This is amazing because this is a tiny model and performs very well in comparison with others. Okay, and this is the best models for coding. And you see on the top, these are all commercial. So you have GPT 4.0 also wins in this category. Then we have Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT, Gemini, Grog, GPT, Metal Llama. Of, oh, I'm missing the, the green thingy. Meta, oops, come on, move here. Uh, Metal Llama 3.0. Okay, anyway, uh, these are layoffs. Uh, there is basically the same. We started the new month. And um, this is it for this presentation. This is me, and thank you.